So I'm always posting some uh, amazing steak photos on my Instagram story and people hit me up asking what do I marinate them in or how do I cook them and just to give you a couple ideas, three or four ways you can do a nice steak. You know, one, if it's a good steak, it doesn't need anything. Hit it on the grill, cook it over some wood. You know, it doesn't, it doesn't need no seasoning or no marinade. Like good steaks are good steaks. Um, some other ways I like to do it, you know, classic, classic uh, like a Korean marinade, like a bulgogi with sesame seed oil, soy sauce, garlic. Um, you let that marinade for a few hours, it comes out real nice on the grill. Some people add a little brown sugar and then it'll caramelize the outside up. Um, my favorite way for ribeye might be Cajun style. You know, when you got a really fatty steak, the Cajun spice and the fat just goes together. It's pretty amazing, especially over wood fire. But uh, you can use like Emerald Essence if you want. I, be, I make my own homemade uh, like Creole or Cajun seasoning. It's not that hard. But uh, lastly, my probably all time favorite way, cast iron pan. You know, sear the hell out of it on a cast iron pan, finish it off in the oven, dollop of butter, um, I put the butter on the steak and I put the butter on the pan when we're done with a little bit of garlic, salt, pepper. You kind of make like a Detroit, classic Detroit zip sauce if you ever had it. It's really good. But this is a 32, 36 ounce, 36 ounce tomahawk steak from Prime and Proper Detroit. They're actually selling these out of the uh, Townhouse Birmingham location right now. You can order them and do curbside pickup if you ever ate at Prime and Proper Detroit. You know, amazing steaks coming off that grill but since everyone's closed you can you know bring these delicious steaks to your home right now so it's nice out about 70 degrees um i got the grill outside heated up to about 750 degrees right now i'm gonna sear this thing off both sides and you know move it off the flames and let it cook until it's perfect but again hit subscribe i'm gonna be dropping some more content some more food content random diesel truck stuff music podcasts everything in between so until then, I'm going to catch you on the next one.